Britain and Europe uses living fences. And somebody had traveled to China and they say, man, they got a plant over there that ought to really do the job for us. So the USDA brought it in and um, now it covers about 500,000 acres. And if you've got it, have you, any of you have McCartney Rose? Yep, down on the coast or uh, at least far south is Refugio and uh, on up into uh, the eastern Texas area. Um, if you're not familiar with it, as we finish up here, you need to come down and, and learn to appreciate it. Uh, it grows in really big clumps. Original stands have to be treated mechanically first or by air. But uh, we do have a lot of acres where we've got these little clumps. And this essentially simulates a clump. It may be a little fuller, maybe three foot across all the way around. Very big thorns, just, it's a rose. It's a, it's a specimen rose. In fact, a lot of our new roses are grafted on to rootstock from, from species like McCartney Rose. All right, so we got that. Being a rose, how do you propagate roses? Any of you are cut, put it in a uh, uh, root on and stick it in the ground? Same thing. So a lot of people over time have shredded this off. The cows come in and boy, they like these little, little apples that is formed, which is a seed pod. Of course, that goes right through the cow and is planted out there. But at the same time, if you got uh, canes down on the ground, wet ground, and they stomp on it, next thing you know, you got roses growing everywhere. So it is spread because it is so aggressive. All right, so we, get, we got a problem where it's found. And it's mostly found on the heavier soils on the coast, coastal prairie. Fortunately, again, it um, has a fairly broad leaf. It is susceptible to some of our herbicides, so we've got some pretty good uh, control over it. The, um, there is no stem growing up that you can treat, so that's not an option. That's not an option. I'm not, Daryl, I'm not going to say you can't take diesel and remedy and put it right in the middle. But uh, you're not going to get the coverage. Okay? So we're, we're pretty well limited to a, um, a foliar type treatment. But fortunately, again, we can treat it spring or fall. Now, in late spring, it starts putting on the pretty white roses. And just like these other plants, it's drawing materials out to the end of the stems whenever it's flowering and fruiting. So when it starts that, you want to kind of cut it off. But prior to that, uh, it stays, it's evergreen all year round. So I'm gonna walk out on a limb and say when the soil gets to be 75 degrees and you can spray mesquite, you can start spraying uh, McCartney Rose. Again, it is a um, P plus D at 1%, works very well on it. There is a synergy between the 2,4-D and the picloram in, two, in the P plus D. That works very well. Um, and that's, that, that is the recommendation. Getting coverage is again more of an issue, just like the, with the Wesatch, because the canes have to be treated. So if you got one growing out here, you need to treat that as well as the bulk of the plant there. And it will grow in that little colony, so it's not just limited to a bud zone like we've been talking about. There's a, there's a pretty broad bud zone down there. And so all of this has to be treated so that it's translocated down. Um, so from a brush buster standpoint, Spring or fall, 1% uh, P plus D with the K 
carrier, the quarter percent blue blue dye, and uh, and some kind of a non-ionic surfactant. Anything else? Any questions? On the bigger bushes, if you're going to broadcast, you need to knock them down. No. No, the problem, obviously, if you're going to use a cattle sprayer or something like that. If you use an airplane, no, you can spray right over the top well, of it. But the thing with the airplane is it's only getting one side. And the thing with the airplane and with any of them is that you don't have enough pressure to get it in, in the plant. It's not so much the one side. But I mean, would you recommend if you could go in there and knock it down and come in the following year? Uh, a lot of times, just like with these others, knocking it down makes it matter. But if you can't get the... Uh, uh, coverage, then yes, you've got to do some mechanical manipulation first. Because I've noticed on even the larger plants that's been there for mm -hmm. you know, 30, 40 years, there's not much really foliage, in my opinion, to transfer the chemical to the roof. Yeah, it's all on the outside. Right. Now, when you do knock it down, just like with some of these others, you've got to have enough canopy regrowth in order to take it up enough herbicides to kill whatever's how, how extensive the root system is so uh, if you knock it down if you rake it then um, you're going to have to let it get three to four foot tall before you spray it again